Hello, this is Matt 2270 coming to you from the College of DuPage during the summer of 2020, and this is called Problem number one asks you to find all solutions to this. If you rearrange this, this is Clairaut's equation. And so you have a family of solutions that looks like this, and you have a singular solution that whose answer looks like this, and you found it by doing this process. This is what x has to be and why you get directly from Clairaut's equation itself with that definition of x. Number two, you would find all solutions here and uh, this equation, if you reorganized it this way, you determined it was exact. So we have a process for solving for exact equations and we went through that process. Uh, at this step though, we ended up with g of xy equal 2x plus e to the xy minus y squared plus a constant. Uh, but then what we really have to do is the solution to this is g of xy equal another constant. And so this is the real answer I was looking for where this constant is the difference between the two. Number three, you were to find all solutions to this problem. Uh, this is homogeneous of degree four because uh, each of these has an have exponents that add up to four. That means we can do a substitution. We're going to say y over x is equal to um, nu. And so we make that substitution and we end up with this, which is going to end up being separable. We separate variables here and we uh, integrate, then we exponentiate. So this is the solution to the separable uh, problem, but then we have to reverse the substitution we made to made it, make it separable. So we're going to put uh, nu to be uh, y over x, and we get this as our solution. Number four, you were to solve this initial value problem and give the interval of validity for your solution. Well, this is a separable equation. And it's easily separated here. And so I get this, and I can figure out what k is for my initial condition. So I get that y squared is equal to 2e to the x minus 1. But I ask you to find the interval of validity. So you have to solve explicitly for y. And from the initial condition, you can tell that it's going to be the plus square root. And then here, the domain has to be such that this is greater than or equal to 0. So the uh, x is greater than or equal to the natural logarithm of 1 half. So you go from uh, natural logarithm of 1 half all the way to plus infinity. Uh, here we were to solve um, this initial value problem that's down here. Well, this is a first order linear initial value problem. So it's an integrating factor problem. Our integrating factor ends up being e to the minus x squared over 2. I multiply all the way through by that. I have an exact differential, so I can integrate again, and I get that z is equal to, after I solve for it, uh, this, but then I can use my initial condition uh, to figure out that this is the solution. So that is what I was looking for. Number six was just computing the Ronskian of this set, and it was pretty straightforward. You compute, compute the determinant, and you get 2x cubed. Number seven, you were to find all solutions to this problem. Now this is an annihilator problem, or it's a variation of parameters problem. It would be uh, easier, I think, to use it, do this in annihilator, but you don't know how to annihilate sine uh, squared of 2x, so you have to use a trig identity, and so this is what you end up annihilating. So this was what you had for your uh, homogeneous part, and then this is annihilating the uh, cosine 4 theta term, and this is annihilating the one half. So then I take, I know that that means that I'm going to have a constant plus another constant times sine of 4t plus a third constant times cosine of 4t. So I dump it into the original equation, set it equal to this, and uh, use undetermined coefficients. And this is my uh, general solution then. Number eight, you would find all solutions to this problem. Again, this is an annihilator problem, and so this is a solution to the homogeneous part. And for this, you know you have to have a particular solution that's of this form. Take the derivatives, plug it into the, um, what you have up here, and you get two equations and two unknowns, which you can solve to get a particular solution like this. And so your solution is the sum of the two, and this is the solution that I was looking for. 
Number eight. Now there was a typo in number uh, eight, and so some students just said, oh, I, uh, he meant to put a prime there, and that's what I just talked about. If there's no prime term, it's going to work very similar, except you're going to get a different answer. This is what you get, and I counted either one of those right. Number nine, you would find the orthogonal trajectories of the family of curves. Now, if you think about those curves, those are circles which are centered on the x-axis. So what we do is we take the derivative uh, differential here of both sides and we eliminate the c. And so we get that uh, dy dx is equal to y squared minus x squared over 2xy. That is the differential equation representing this family of curves. But then I say, well, the orthogonal uh, trajectory is going to be d of x, dxy. Uh, derivative of x, the derivative of y with respect to x is going to be the negative reciprocal of that. And then I solve that differential equation and I get this. And this uh, tells me that the orthogonal family is uh, a family of circles that are centered at the, on the uh, y-axis. And number 10, you refine all solutions to uh, this problem. This is a Bernoulli problem. When you reorganize it, so we use the Bernoulli substitutions and end up getting uh, this. And this is one that's, uh, that's readily solved. This is, in fact, a... Uh, if you're careful, this is a linear first order uh, differential equation that you solve. And so we solve it and we get what, uh, what z is, but then we have to put what z is in terms of y. And uh, here we are going to get plus or minus uh, this as our solution. In closing, now more than ever, time is precious. Each day must count. Do the math, it will make you strong. And now more than ever, take care of yourself and of each other. God bless you all.